guys, been here. This is Kelly in Manchester. I am at Club Academy. It's a basement venue of Manchester University. And we all know strange things happen in basements. Nothing that weird has happened in my basement, I just imagine. So I'm going to try and find the weirdest information I can at the bottom of this basement. With Of Montreal, I'm not just going to talk about music because why? Why? You can hear their music. What I am going to talk about is all the nonsense that's going on inside their head that I want to know about, that you should know about, and that they probably shouldn't know about but know too much about already. Hi, I'm backstage at Manchester Club Academy with Of Montreal's Kevin and Brian. Hello, Hi. How's it going, guys? Um, kind of cool, kind of hot, but definitely not mild. Kind of hot. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, your, your blood gets really warm when you're about to do something really cool and fun, hopefully, you know, but it's like tamale sauce, but it, uh, we're cool, you know, but we're not mild, you know, because mild is like boredom, that's the blase, you don't want to be there, so. Wow. Okay, right, just let's think about this scenario for a second, right, you've got a lion and a shark, which one is going to win having a fight on the moon? They've both got a space suits, let's say, but that, that's the only oxygen, rule. Right. Yeah. They've got They're not going to just not. like explode. Yeah, that kind of thing, right? We talk about that a lot, actually. We call it the Beast War. But ours involves um, like the, the cat kingdom, like the tigers and stuff. I, I think I'm a cat. I've got a disease. Oh, yeah, it's too bad. I have some cream for you. <laughs> so anyways, back to your question. I think I agree with Brian that the lion would definitely beat the shark. And I'll tell you why. Okay, tell me why. Because lions adapt better to moon gravity. And I know this for a fact. How do you know that? Because I dreamed it. <laughs> if you had the choice, what would you rather do? Would you rather belly bump chunk from the Goonies? Or would you rather challenge Beth Ditto in a squirrel eating competition? Apparently, she was on Jonathan Ross. Mm -hmm. And, um,. There was talk of eating squirrels. I'm gonna be honest, that's, that's, a, that's an insane thing. Eating squirrels? Yeah. My grandpa, I don't know if he ate them, but he used to hunt them. Okay. With a fork. <laughs> yeah, in America, a lot of people eat squirrel. You ever had squirrel pie? No, I'm a vegetarian, and also that's incorrect. <laughs> squirrel pie? Squirrel pie, yeah. So is this like a normal thing? That's what Yorkshire pudding is. Oh, you should look up Yorkshire! Up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a YouTube video by this woman called The Huntress. And she makes delicious. Squirrel burgers. She makes squirrel squirrel melts with kids. Yeah, squirrel melts. Yeah. Very common. Yeah. Is it? I don't know if you're joking. No. Squirrel melts. We have a lot of squirrel meat fights too, where we throw squirrel meat at each other. We all wear these white smocks <laughs> and throw squirrel meat at each other. Um, America, That's sort kind of, yeah. it out. <laughs> it's kind of a southern thing. Right. Okay. So, have you both eaten squirrel then? Oh yeah. It's delicious. So you'd, you'd rather eat squirrel than, than belly bump? You can still be a vegetarian and eat squirrel. Uh, it's in the fish kingdom. That's, uh, their tails are so long and fluffy it throws people off. But they don't actually <laughs> breathe oxygen. And they're not under the water though. But um, vegetarians don't eat fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Brian, did you hear that? Uh, yeah, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> They should eat some fish, probably. That's they need a little protein. <laughs> the fish the fish aren't fish, vegetables. Well, maybe the fish could start eating mammals, you know. Yeah. In that would mess Iran, everything you know, up. You know, they're on their way, you know. In England, fish are definitely not vegetables. That, that's for the pescatarians to sort out. Yeah. Just pests. I feel enlightened about a lot of things, I'll be honest. The gods got bored and created Jimmy Hunt. Yeah. Fact. It's sort of bad luck, isn't it, putting your hat on the bed in like drugstore cowboy, I remember that. You know, don't throw your hat on the bed. It's bad luck, so now I never, I don't know what to do with my hat when all I have is a bed. <laughs> like, just have to sort of like keep tossing it in the air over and over and over again. If that interview broke your mind or melted your brain a little bit and you need a way in which to recover, do go out and buy Of Montreal's ninth album, Skeletal Lamping, out now. Do you go and see them at a gig as well? And if you see them in the street, have a chat with them because they'll tell you about lions and sharks and stuff. And also, for more information on the eating of squirrel burgers, just bloody stop it! <laughs>